Welcome back to uh, Souls Combat, the longest day with the Kharkov mod. Um, so I was able to um, uh, fuck up the recording once again, so you didn't, you can, you di you're not able to see the uh, the whole deployment phase. But I'm going to show you what the plan is uh, for this battle. Uh, I'm facing a Soviet tank brigade. Um, and the only real anti-tank weapons that I have uh, are two um, Stug 40s with the 75mm uh, long barrel gun, the KVK-40 I believe. Uh, I also do have a 50mm uh, Pac-38 which isn't gonna be uh, much help against um, Soviet T-34s and KV-1s, especially not KV-1s. Um, but I'm placing this uh, uh, Pac-38 uh, down here um, on my side of the river. Hopefully, it can uh, get a flank a flank shot into uh, any tank, <coughs> Soviet tank that uh, decides to cross the bridge. Uh, I guess uh, since the Soviets did take the bridge, uh, they can um, they can uh, deploy troops on on my side of the river which isn't uh, which isn't good at all but hopefully I'll be able to stop them and perhaps retake the bridge so I have a second platoon uh, in a reverse slope defense uh, they won't stay like this though once the battle starts they're going to creep up uh, to the crest of the hill and they are going to uh, try to act as uh, fire support for uh, first platoon which is down south southeast uh, and the uh, first platoon's main objective is to uh, clear out this hill hill um, 437 um, and they also have a stug not a, not so much for fire support uh, but rather to uh, engage any tanks uh, right off the bat um, if the hopefully or hopefully but if the enemy of the Soviets uh, deploys tanks on the bridge or close to the bridge um, this dog should be able to uh, hopefully get a flank shot in on a enemy tank uh, if not it can actually okay so it well that's not that's not really good I don't want it to be I want to move it back so it can't come under fire from the flank. Well, I guess that's that's not too bad, and it can still fire on the bridge. Yes, okay. Uh, because I don't want it to. Uh, and also, I have to check the flank towards the hill. Uh, I don't want any enemy infantry sneaking up. Uh, assaulting my stug but I, I think um, first platoon is gonna be able they have a medium machine gun which can lay down uh, uh, heavy fire support if needed if there are any enemies uh, on the hill let's actually see they can fire down not really they can fire almost they have a bit of um, a blind spot uh, on the hill, but I don't think there's any. Uh, there isn't any other good position to uh, place them in. Okay, I'll, I'll just move these squads uh, around a bit. I'll keep the platoon leader close to the medium machine gun team. Uh, and I'll have one of the rifle squad squads uh, up front. Um, the second rifle squad is behind them, and uh, they are going to do the the movement, movement to contact, basically. So they're going to advance, try to take the hill. Uh, if they succeed, I'm then going to move the medium machine gun team up on the crest of the hill, so it can. Uh, lay down some supporting fire for 
uh, second platoon. I also have a, a medium machine gun team on this uh, two-story building uh, with a good good lines of fire uh, pretty much all over the map. Uh, they can even shoot across the this hill where um, second platoon is. Um, and I have the stug over here, the second stug being able to fire, it has good keyhole positions, can basically only fire on the uh, in the vicinity of the bridge on the other side of the river, I can't really engage anything across the bridge. Well, but this dog can, okay. So I, um, if it needs, uh, if the stug really needs to move, I can move it. Uh, so I guess it isn't that much of a problem, uh, I guess, that I won't be able to fire down, uh, down to my side of the river. But, well, I think I am. Um, I think I'm um, um, ready for battle actually, I think uh, I'm happy with this setup, so um, I guess since it was a short introduction to the deployment, um, I think we'll jump straight into the battle. Um, kind of want to have, let's set these guys to start moving right off the bat yeah so um, let's do that and see what happens okay we got a T-34 somebody oh fuck they knocked out my stug fuck that's uh, that's bad that's really bad I think that stug was also quite an experienced crew so that's, uh, that's a hard loss. Let's see if this dog can... Uh... Well, it did damage the T-34. That KV-1 tank is uh, a wreck from the last battle, so... So let's see if we can uh, destroy this T-34. So... I don't. I'm not exactly sure how this uh, T-34 was able to shoot the stug, but it happened. So that okay. So I knocked out the T-34. So losing that stug was really bad because um, I only had uh, I only had two stugs left. So now I only have one stug left. Uh, and I, it was probably quite an experienced crew. Oh shit! I saw that. There's a uh, tank to the east. Come on! I don't know what it was. I wasn't able to to get a good look at it, but it might have been a T-34, and it was aiming my way. So I really want to be careful. But let's try to move it to a better firing position if possible well it seems like the enemy isn't um, doing any uh, movement not yet anyway they might they might um, start moving pretty soon though Fuck, so I really get need to get rid of that T-34 on the hill. If I'm able to. So let's uh, reverse this stug a bit. I want to try to get a... Um, a shot on that T-34 on the hill. Without being fired upon by the tank that was... Uh, Oh, come on. Quickly, quickly. Come on. Engage. Ooh, that was a close one. We did hit the T-34. That's good. 
please, please, please take it out. Good. Come on, knock it out. Knock it out of commit. Находимся под огнем!
Yeah. Okay. 